My name is Matt Hansen, and I am a professional triathlete and coach. My first full pro year was 2014. I was able to win the Ironman my rookie year. I think I've been able to tally 12 professional wins with most recently, I just had my fastest run ever at, at uh, Ironman Florida going 234 low. I've been asked a lot what I can do an open marathon in, and the honest answer is I don't know. I have always said if I was going to do it, I want to really do it the right way and spend a, a proper amount of time prepping for an event. I came to the lab here in Minnesota to do some testing, one to uh, come down to sea level or a little bit closer to sea level rather than testing in Colorado. In the preparation for, for this trip, we were able to have a few meetings with the, the team at Human Powered Health and it was me telling them this is what I want to accomplish and they sent back a protocol right away giving me a lot of valuable information but it's also going to give me a lot of the confidence that I'm doing everything right. And then Elastic Exchange which is going to be a percent of economy, your running profile, and then your stride parameters. So it's taking all those those pieces together and giving you a percent. Excellent is above 35, which we're at almost 46. What we're trying to accomplish this weekend is to really figure out respiratory exchange ratio, um, which helps you figure out how many carbohydrates you're burning per hour. And you know, carbs are always a limiting factor. Uh, endurance events at a high pace are always managed bankruptcy. You're gonna go bankrupt at some point, you just want it to be at the finish line. And so we'll be able to really try to dial in what I need to do on race day. Remember, you just go until you can't go no more. You yep. determine when this one stops. Saying there's a chance. There's a good chance. There's a good chance. Yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy. I think they seem to think that there's a there's a chance that this is possible based on how the numbers came out. So that's always encouraging. So you know, I'm, I'm going to have to thread the needle. Obviously, I'm going to have to fuel properly. We're going to come out of today with a pretty good plan, and then I'll have three chances to to dial the plan in a little bit more in training back home. And you know, like I kind of said earlier, you know, going through all these steps. It can kind of give you the confidence that you need to draw on when things get tough and you start to have those questions and that doubt maybe creeps in to kind of draw on you know, doing everything right and uh, knowing that you have the numbers behind you, you just got to execute. I say 218 or bust because that's the way that I want to approach the race from a strategy standpoint. It's running 514, 515 per mile until I can't hold it anymore. And that's the way that I want to approach it mentally. And you've got to be willing to hurt. Uh, you've got to be willing to go to a pretty dark place. If you get 100% of your goals, you're afraid to set good goals because they should be hard and they should push you and they should make you uncomfortable. And that's what this is for me. Physically, I know I'm capable of it if I have full time for the build, but I haven't done that. And so it's really going to be uh, how bad that I want. Thank you.